You're watching part 5 of the Rapid Developer Walkthrough. If you haven't seen part 1, click here. If you're completely new to Mendix, check out the link in the description to create a Mendix account. We want our app to autofill the course name in the form when selecting from the big list of courses. The user story has already been selected and started, so we must now add a schedule button next to the course listing. Our button will act like our previous buttons, except we want to add the autofill functionality. This means our button will need to trigger a microflow. When you need your app to follow special instructions, think of microflows. According to the Mendix Academy, microflows are named based on prefix, entity, and operation. The prefix is always three capital letters. ACT stands for action. You created the microflow which was added to the App Explorer tab under my first module. The yellow sideways house object is a parameter, which means that there is a specific course object that the microflow is associated with. Working backwards, we want the training event form page to be shown after an admin creates a special training event form that already has the course name autofilled. Make sure to set up the activities by specifying which page or entity you want to use. You're about to learn a very valuable keyboard shortcut. Type control space to see all your options. We need the training event form to come pre-filled with the course name. Let's run the app to make sure our microflow works. It works! The course name is autofilled on the form page. Let's mark, save, and commit our progress.
The Mendix Assist Logic Bot can help you configure your microflows. It analyzes the context of your app's microflow and offers the next best suggestions out of more than 40 different options.